G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Starfield. We're in Voli Alpha Neon City and we're trying our best to follow through on the Ryujin Industries uh, questline here, uh, one step ahead. But after following a little bit, uh, we've found ourselves sort of agreeing to a few additional side quests uh, as a result. Um, strangely enough, we've randomly sort of uh, walked into... Uh, I forget the name of the corporation. I think it's Kelt Corp. Uh, there we go. Uh, we went into Kelt Corp. The first person we spoke to asked us for a favor. So <laughs> we're, we're trying to complete that uh, and, uh, you know, get in their good graces so that they don't you know, suspect us when we eventually go through with uploading this malicious program. Uh, and yeah, uh, while trying to do that favor, we've now been asked another favor by uh, this Saburo, uh, who is apparently uh, some kind of a, maybe a, a romantic interest of um, uh, Chloe from Seltcorp. Uh, or Keltcorp, rather. I keep calling them Seltcorp. Anyway, we need to distribute flyers for him around Neon. Uh, and I figure maybe we'll help him out with that before then proposing him to uh, take on, uh, I guess, uh, well, not take on the debt, but um, to let uh, Chloe take on the debt for him. Um, he is a little bit prideful. So... Distribute flyers to neon merchants. Okay. Uh, hand out to other business people of neon. I should ask around and see if any of them are interested. Right. I wonder if this is some kind of a persuasion thing. Uh, I don't suppose Freestar Rangers would want to take that. Ryujin Apartments? Okay. Nope. Um, so I wonder if we continue our quest line with Ryujin, whether or not we'll be able to get a Ryujin apartment. Anyway, um, James. Now James, we should stop raining these dumplings. Rosalites. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Uh, I figure since we've done work for him, he'd be willing to put up a poster. How are things going between you and Dietrich? Much better, thanks for asking. I don't exactly know what you said to Dietrich, but he certainly turned everything around. He's really stepped up and taken an active role in fighting Neon Security's corruption. He's even organizing the merchants' meetings with me. Best of all, I think we've become good friends. Which is a rare thing to come across in this city, I can tell you that. That's good to hear. Look, uh, I have a flyer from Saburo Okadebo. I remember this is a very difficult name to pronounce. Uh, you might want to look at that. Uh, look at this flyer. Um, here, let me see that. Oh, not a bad idea. I might be onto something here. Thanks for bringing this to me. Sweet. Okay, cool. Watch your back out there. Easy as pie. Uh, so let's hope that all of the other merchants are as open-minded. Three Star Rangers, Mining League, that's uh, Okadibo's own shop. Reliant Medical. Let's actually see if we can hang up a poster here. I haven't actually been to Reliant Medical, I don't think, in Neon City. Hey there. Got the shakes, huh? Don't worry. Doc Manning will fix you up. The shakes from Aurora, I wonder. Yeah. Perhaps you'd better sit down. Like weak. My whole body feels like it's crumbling. Oh my goodness. Another poor soul. All right. Tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? Rat me out to anyone, right? You kidding? Uh, are Aurora overdoses a common problem here? Unfortunately, yes. You see, the more Aurora that a user absorbs, the more resistance their body builds up to its active ingredients. That means the user needs larger and larger doses in order to feel its full effect. Eventually, the doses get so incredibly large, the user's nervous system simply can't handle the overload. I don't exactly use Aurora. That's a very wise choice. 
Since you're clearly a first-time visitor to Reliant Neon, I'd love to offer you a free checkup, but I'm afraid I'm dangerously low on supplies. That's kind of unusual for a medical supply company. I can assure you it isn't by choice. You see, I'm a bit... at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. Have you tried taking this to a higher authority? I've spoken to the people at Reliant Medical Corporate, I've talked to the Freestar Rangers, I've even gone to the Freestar Collective Council. Every answer is always the same. We're working on it. It's corruption at the highest levels. Ugh. So aggravating. Jeez. Okay. I can say that again. Well... Bayu obviously has a stranglehold, uh, stranglehold on this city, or this entire city. Then you understand what I'm up against. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayu's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. Oh, uh, I guess we do have a delivery from the clinic. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Is it possible to break an Aurora habit? Huh, well, it's completely dependent upon how long the user's been addicted. People have been using for, say, two years or less. I've been able to put through a full detoxification program successfully. But there are others who have been addicted pretty much all their adult lives. And I have yet to try and cure someone who hasn't relapsed. Uh, I've got a flyer from Saburo Okadabo explaining how you can both boost your businesses. I wouldn't mind a bit of extra traffic as long as the supplies allow for it. A few extra credits never hurt. Sweet. Okay, cool. He was pretty open to that pretty quickly, uh, despite still having a bit of a problem. Uh, I can help you with your medical supply problem. That would be amazingly helpful. It's a relief to meet someone who gives a damn about anyone other than themselves for a change. Oh, and I'll pay you directly for the supplies, of course. It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. How will we sneak the supplies past spaceport authorities? There's nothing to worry about. As long as packages aren't coming off a commercial vessel, the authorities won't scan them. That's why this has to be done slowly and methodically. If I get too much all at once, they'll catch on to my scheme. How can you possibly afford to pay for your own supplies? I use the proceeds from my paying customers. And by cutting a few expenses here and there, I'm able to use a bit of my own money. It's not a bother, really. The cots here at the facility are actually quite comfortable. Damn. Okay, he even sleeps here. Uh... Look, you don't have to pay me anything, mate. As much as I'd like to believe that, let's wait and see how you feel after you make the delivery. Anyway, I have a contact over at the clinic in the Narian system. Happy heading? She's one of the nurses there. She'll get you started. Thank you so much for doing this. You have no idea how helpful it'll be for the poor folk that live in Ebside. Uh... Oh yeah, and I have a delivery from the clinic. Always a good thing to hear. I'll be sure this gets put to good use. Clinic data slate. Okay, we got 2,500 creds from that. That's good. Uh, 
How do you know Abby Edding? We both apprenticed under Mary Cartwright at the medical facility in Aquila City. Spent a heck of a lot of hours working together. Abby and I got along exceptionally well. Don't get me wrong, we're just friends of course. She's young enough to be my daughter. I almost felt bad leaving her behind when I was hired to work for Reliant and Neon, but I knew she'd do well wherever she ended up. Reached out to her a few months ago when I ran into trouble here and she's been helping me ever since. So tell me doc, how exactly does Aurora work? Aurora stimulates the neural circuits in the brain, specifically targeting the neurotransmitter serotonin in the prefrontal cortex. This causes significant sensory hallucinations, both auditory and visual. That's the enticement factor. As you can imagine, this state is highly addictive, and the user gets stuck in a vicious cycle. They need more Aurora to satisfy their cravings. Alright, let's go. Try not to get hurt out there. That's the idea. Um, all right, cool. So I definitely want to help this guy out. Uh, seems like a really good cause. And yeah, anything to stick it to Benjamin Bayou. Everything that we've been hearing about Benjamin Bayou has been pretty negative so far. So um, I'm hoping that we can help out the people of Neon as much as possible. We've already helped out with, uh, you know, the Dietrich situation. So Welcome that's good. Hotel Voli. Uh, Minerva Clement. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. What sort of luxury accommodations do you have? We have finely appointed spacious suites, all featuring fantastic amenities. Best of all, each room is security protected with an encrypted password locked door. So, you can rest easy at night. Look, it's Neon. There's always a catch here. Nope, no catch. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. What do you mean, administrative influence? Well... Almost every business in Neon is subject to ridiculous fees and taxes. They claim that it's because Neon occupies such a prime location, having close proximity to Ryujin and all of the other mega corporations. But I think you and I both know that's not true at all. That must have taken a miracle to arrange in that case. No miracle, just some good old fashioned ingenuity. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? I have a cross promotion opportunity for you, courtesy of Saburo Okadibo. His flyer explains it all. Oh, thanks. I'll definitely give this some thought. It couldn't hurt. Sweet. Three out of five. Uh, do you get a lot of tenants? To tell you the truth, not really. And that's one of the consequences with the arrangement between Administrator Bayou and myself. He won't hassle me, but there's nothing I can do about my guests being hassled. The last tenant I had was arrested for spitting on the street. As you can imagine, business is not exactly booming. Luckily, I have more than enough capital to cover my expenses, but it still sucks. Mind answering some questions about Neon? You mean the stuff Bayou leaves out of the brochures? <laughs> Don't mind at all. What's the deal with the Trade Tower? Oh, you noticed that little thing? Yeah, that's Bayou's crown jewel. First of all, you have the Astral Lounge, flowing with Aurora, attracting every tourist within light years of Oli. Then you have exorbitantly priced offices for every megacorp, besides Ryujin, with Xenofresh Fisheries square at the top. And like the cherry at the top of his ego Sunday, 
Bayer's got his private penthouse. I don't even want to think about what goes on up there. I wonder if we would be able to visit that penthouse. Maybe uh, do some sleuthing or something like that. Uh, could you describe the layout of Neon's districts? Neon has four main districts. The ones where Bayou wants you to spend your credits are Bayou Plaza and Ikuchi Market. Those are the glitzy parts of town. Bayou Plaza is the section outside my doors, from the Trade Tower to the Spaceport. Ikuchi Market runs from the Starport Terminal to Ryujin Tower. Not quite as glamorous as the plaza, but still expensive. Then, there's Upside, running the perimeter of the upper platform. Probably not the best spot for tourists. Finally, you have the Underbelly, the working class's domain under our feet. Not much down there, but industry and a few random shops. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Just had to cut uh, back there because uh, something came up, so I had to stop recording for a little bit. But uh, I am back, so should I be avoiding Ebside? No, I don't think so. Ebside's filled with a few decent clubs like Madame Salvage's Place and Euphorica. You should check them out. Just watch your back. It's gang territory, which means Neon Security tends to ignore what goes on in there. Is it worth exploring the underbelly? Most of the underbelly is taken up by Xenofresh and Jennerdyne's facilities, but there are a few hidden gems you might want to check out. Actually, I'd recommend checking out Offworld Eats. Cosmos and Lee run that place. They're a couple of great guys. Okay, so this underbelly, that's interesting. I don't think we've actually been there before. Uh, I wonder if maybe a quest line might take us there. Uh, I don't even know how to get there. But uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to ask for now. Sounds good. Let me know if you need anything else. Uh, so do you want to let me in on your little secret about how you beat the system? Maybe after you've rented a room for a few nights, I might let you in on my secret. For now, it'll just have to remain a mystery. Sorry. I just need some time to see if I can trust you. I'm sure you understand. Oh man, okay. Uh... So, let's check on the pricing of a room. Mm, yep. I've got an open room for you. Are you planning on an extended stay or just one night? Uh, just one day. I have a room with your name on it. Sweet, okay. And visit our uh, rented room. Let's actually just activate that activity for now. And hopefully, maybe a few times renting a room in Neon will be able to convince her that, uh, you know, we're trustworthy enough for her to share her story. 300 creds is, you know, kind of nothing, so that's fine. Oh, okay, well, it's just our room immediately. <laughs> There's no other room here. Um, interesting layout. Maybe this building is, like, really, really tight. You know, every floor is its own room. Cyber Runner's Cypher Volume 4. Laser weapons permanently do 5% more critical damage. Absolutely. Okay, cooking station is just tucked away in here. Uh, and here's our bed. May as well have a sleep. And maybe get well rested, perhaps? We may as well, since we've rented the room and everything. Uh, we'll quickly check in with the receptionist once more and see if she's comfortable sharing her story now. Possibly not yet, but uh, we'll, we'll work towards it. I don't think I saw anything else of interest, so... We have ch it's nice to see you today. Maybe after you've rented a room. Okay. Sorry. Maybe a few more times, but... Let me know if I can help you while you're visiting me. Let's out. come back to that idea, shall we? So, let's continue with Saburo's posters here. Uh, so, next shop is... The Enhanced Clinic. Let's go. We've been here an hour already. 
Maybe you should have figured out what you wanted before we came. You're looking for a new hairstyle? Maybe a change of color? I don't want to screw it up. Welcome to Enhance. If you're tired of seeing that same old face in the mirror every morning, and you're looking for something different, we can help. Our state-of-the-art machinery uses a patented proprietary technology that can reshape your facial features or give you a new head of hair. For a small, one-time fee, you can enhance yourself and bring a big, warm smile to your brand new face. Plus, it's me. It's one thing to screw up options for a shit. How'd you end up working at Enhance? I actually owe this job completely to my girlfriend, Valentina Gurov. I don't know if you've met her. She works over at Xenofresh. When I arrived here two years ago, I met her at the Astral Lounge. We talked. I told her I needed a job, and she got me this gig. Cool, huh? It's a little scary, though. The person I replaced totally vanished. Like, poof. Valentina said they probably had an accident or something. She's helped me out with this job so much. She even brings me business from time to time. People she sends my way. It's the best. Hmm, interesting and very mysterious. Nice to be connected in a city like this. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Enhance's services. Of course. Ask anything you like. Is the process safe? Absolutely. We're proud to feature a no disfigurement guarantee. If for any reason our machine doesn't perfectly replicate the look you selected, we'll make it right. That's the enhanced promise. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to know. Great. So, would you like to undergo a treatment? Uh, not for now. I assume that, uh, you know, you wouldn't really be able to get credits back if you're unhappy. And these enhanced clinics are literally just a way for us to change our appearance. Uh, Saburo Okadibo has a business opportunity he'd like to share with you. Here's a flyer explaining that. I'll take a look, but I won't make any promises, okay? Okay, cool. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do to enhance your day. Righto, off to the next shop. Uh, I think this is Neon Security right here. There's probably no other shops till we get to the Trade Tower or Astral Lounge. Uh, what's going on in this corner? Nothing much. Oh, there's uh, some guy just standing in the dark corner there. <laughs> uh, Galbank. I don't suppose a Galbank branch will really want to take posters. Uh, I wonder if we can get a poster up in Terrabrew. Hi there. Well, hello and welcome to Terrabrew. How may I serve you? Uh, what's your favorite thing on the menu? Corporate policy requires me to state that everything Terrabrew offers is my favorite. Okay. Yep. Um. Drank too much Kool-Aid there. Uh, that's Ebside. We've got the Emporium. And I think this is where our shady friend works, right? Oh, actually, no. It's not our shady friend. It's someone else. I'm not entirely sure if I've actually been here at the Emporium. Let's have a chat with Tevin, the proprietor, I assume. Are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of her usual clientele. Expensive. And then there's the Emporium. This place is in a class all by itself. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Take a look around. If you find something... What does your usual clientele look like? I cater to the high-end client. Affluent, intelligent, and successful. In Neon, that would be what we call the upper 10%. Damn, I almost wore my entitled snob outfit today. <laughs> I take it from your tone I've made an error in judgment. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, 
who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. Uh, we know about Sek, uh, Selku. Uh, well, you should learn to defend yourself. My education on Jemison consisted entirely of academics and poetry, so it's unlikely I'd be successful in that regard. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Uh, I don't know if he's the kind of guy who would work together with someone like Saburo. Seems a little bit too snobbish for that, so I won't uh, talk about the... Uh, the no, it's not a flyer, it's a, uh, a poster. But uh, maybe I'll skip to the next uh, shop. I will talk about handling this headlock thug, though. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Why would Sekgu hang out at, uh, Grab and Go? No one knows. Seok are sleek, well-dressed mobsters. They aren't low-life gang members. Why they choose to hang out at a run-down little convenience store like that is beyond me. Hmm, okay. I'll try to reason with him first. Whatever it takes. Just don't go getting yourself killed on my behalf. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. Okay, cool. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about Headlock? I believe he's a newer member of Seoka. They pulled him up out of one of the street gangs that crawl through our sewers. If you are wondering how I know about that, he boasts about it every time he comes in here. He's quite a large gentleman. I believe you can find him roaming the street somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Look, if he somehow disappeared, you'd be doing everyone in Neon a favor. No one would miss him, no one would care. Yeah, we'll see if we can avoid violence. Uh, what types of goods do you sell here at the Emporium? Oh, I carry all sorts of unique items from across the settled systems. Luxury products for the discerning buyer. I'm not one to boast, but my shop won me my position as Administrator Bayou's personal decorator. His penthouse is my pièce de résistance. Uh, before I forget, I also pay top credits to travelers that bring me unique baubles and trinkets, so keep your eyes open as you explore the spaceways. Huh, okay. So if we find unique looking things, we might be able to bring it here for a better price, maybe? Though... I don't know if that's really worthwhile. All right, let's go. Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. Hmm. Look, man, have a heart. I can't pay right now, but I'll spot you next time, okay? Do I look like an idiot? Tell me, do I have a sign that says idiot? Take the way back. I wonder if this is the guy that we have to steal from. Uh, to get that artifact. Possibly. Possibly. But anyway, um... Stroud Eklund? Uh... I thought Stroud Eklund was in the Trade Tower. So this is the Stroud Eklund showroom. If you have any questions about our spacecraft, don't hesitate to ask. That's a, an interesting looking craft, or are those just parts? I think they might just be parts, actually. On behalf of Strout Eklund, I'd like to welcome you to our showroom today. Our company prides itself as the industry leader in spacecraft production. We use groundbreaking technology to give us a significant advantage over our competitors. You can configure your desired spacecraft at any one of our conveniently located kiosks. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. I can't believe they make you memorize all that nonsense. I 
can assure you, everything that I'm saying is quite accurate. Ever since the corporate merger, our company is stronger than ever. Feel free to have a look around our showroom. I'll be right here if you need me. How long have you been working for Stroud Eklund? Actually, I've been working here for only two years. Previously, I was an Arboron sales representative, but that type of work wasn't for me. I could never relate to the type of clientele that purchases weapons. But spacecraft have always held a certain fascination in my mind. It was comfortable working under Ryujin's banner, but despite all of my requests, they wouldn't transfer me to the Taiyo Astroneering Division. And so, here we are. Have you ever met Walter Stroud? He's been to Neon a few times, but I haven't had the pleasure of his company for more than a few minutes at the most. What I can say is that, despite what's been reported by the media, Mr. Stroud is a rational luminary with uniquely future forward vision. What can you tell me about Issus, uh, Issa Eklund? When I was applying for my position here, I wasn't certain that leaving Ryujin behind was the right thing to do. I was nervous. It was Issa herself that approved my application, gave me a reassuring hug, and told me that I had to follow my dreams. She's truly a remarkable, compassionate woman. In fact, I defy you to find her equal in the corporate landscape. Hmm, interesting. Uh, again, I'm not entirely sure this is the type of place that we want to hang up a poster, so... Have a wonderful day. Let's maybe skip this place. Uh, ship services here if we wanted to browse ships and parts and stuff, but... Uh, let's not do that for now. Okay, next. Uh, we've got Sieghearts, yeah. Uh, I think we can definitely hang up a poster here with Dietrich. Come on in, please have a good look around. Uh, I have a flyer for you from Saburo Akadibo in case you're interested in any cross promotion. Business could always be better. I'll take that. Sweet, and that's five out of five. Remember to steer clear of neon security. They're up to no good. All right, and let's go back to Saburo. Talk to him about both the posters and his debt. Uh, and then we'll go off and see if we can help the good doctor out. Let me know if it's a wonderful day, my friend. Uh, I handed out all of the flyers. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Sweet. All right. Uh, I hope you have a glorious... Let's actually take another wine here. I know we did that before and then we didn't end up actually convincing him of anything, but that's okay. Um, hey, it's friend. easy enough to find wines everywhere. I appreciate your kindness. I don't think anyone else in Neon would have helped me hand out those flyers. Uh, mate, Clover McKenna uh, offered to pay off your debt to Kelt Corp. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. I appreciate him trying to do things his own way. But I think sometimes people just need a little bit of a push in the right direction. Uh, look. Oh yes, we did actually find Clover's slate. Look, have a read of this, mate. It might change your mind. Really? Let me take a look. Oh, 
I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. Oh, she definitely likes you. And I like her. Oh, that came out wrong. What I meant to say was, I respect her business acumen. <laughs> Look at me. My palms are sweating. Regardless, you have done me a service, and for that, I thank you. You can tell Miss McKenna, I mean Chloe, that I accept her offer. Are the feelings between you and Clover mutual? I do have feelings for her, and maybe now I will have the courage to tell her. I know they say never to mix business with pleasure, but there are always exceptions. Cool. Come back soon, my friend. It's always a treat to see you. You good? Well, uh, that resolves that matter. We could go back to Clover right now, but I'm thinking of actually assisting the good doctor first. So uh, we'll sort of hit two birds with one stone when we go to the trade tower again. Uh, let's see. So relief run, I think, is the one. So let's quickly see if we can just fast travel our way there. Uh, and I just want to very quickly take a look at our inventory. Yeah, okay, we've got a few resources here and there, which I could try and let go. So let's quickly do that right now. No. Bloody hell. I always make that mistake. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, that could have been really, really bad. Uh, oh yes, I'm wanting to get rid of this hat. Uh, anything else we can get rid of? Hmm, I don't think so. For some reason, we are still pretty heavy, though. Two point five. This is not really that much. I feel like maybe we've probably got a lot of aid items. Maybe a little bit too much. Uh. Okay. Apparently we've let go of a few things that we probably need for a few other quest lines, but that's okay. Get back to that. In the meantime, though, let's stop with the clinic. Back at the clinic, I wasn't really sure hey, that I would be, I uh, you know, back here so many times, but here we are. I wonder if they've cleaned one? up the dead body in the, um, in the private wing. Dr. At, Cartwright uh, in Aquila City said I was crazy when I told her I wanted to transfer here. Now I kind of understand why. Are you here for a procedure? You're new here? New-ish. I've only been here a year, which, well, when you compare it against Dr. Darvish's career, it's not much, is it? I'm thrilled to have the opportunity, but it's been an adjustment. Very few cases here are simple, and most of them are medical emergencies. Do you ever get a break? I guess that depends on what you consider a break. We get some time to ourselves. We're not on call all the time, but we're never that far away from it either. Now that I think about it, I haven't actually left the clinic since I got the job. I actually hadn't really noticed. Maybe it's time for a little bit of a holiday. Do you ever get homesick? No, not really. This is my home now. 
The people here are wonderful, and the work we're doing is incredibly important. That's what really matters. Joseph Manning sent me to pick up some medical supplies. Hey, let's keep our voices down. The clinic doesn't exactly know I'm giving its supplies away. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard Bayou really has a vice grip on Neon right now. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it shouldn't draw any suspicion from the clinic. I'll have them loaded onto your ship. Sweet. What'll happen if the clinic finds out about this? What the clinic doesn't know won't hurt them. That's why it's important to keep this as confidential as possible. I'm putting my job on the line to do this, but I know that the people of Neon need help. I'm willing to take the risk and skim a few supplies from the clinic. But if the clinic finds out, then I'm out of a job and Neon is out of supplies. Again. So, let's not be too conspicuous. Why are you doing this for Joseph Manning? He's a good friend of mine. We both worked at the same clinic in Aquila City. The work was hard and I was really young and nervous, but he always looked after me during those days and helped me as much as he could. So to answer your question, I'm doing this because I know for a fact he'd do the same for me. No questions asked. I wonder if we convince her to give us some extra supplies, whether or not that might affect what happens later on, and whether or not she might get discovered. Let's do it anyway. Um, look, a few extra supplies couldn't hurt. Sorry, I can't do that. This is the most I can give you without drawing suspicion. <laughs> uh, look. Sorry. That's all right. But I can't afford to give you any more supplies. I can't lose my job over this. What I'm giving you now should be more than enough. The supplies will be loaded onto your ship. No extras. Yeah, that's okay. I didn't feel right asking her for even more. I feel considering uh, that she's sort of putting her job, putting her neck on the line. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else for us to do here on the clinic. It seems a little bit barren and empty. It's encouraging to know that every case we cure here likely means dozens. Anyway, that's okay. Let's head back and let's get these medical supplies where they're needed. Uh, I'm sort of thinking this has been a little bit of a slow episode though, so... Uh, is there anything we could do sort of in the middle that might be a little bit more exciting? Let me take a look. So... I think maybe we'll just switch this to anti-grav. And, yeah, do we have any board missions? Uh, yeah, we still have surveying, um, Toloman 2, which gave us some problems, but I don't think we have any other board missions right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's pick up a couple of board missions when we get the chance, actually. Just that we've got a few things to break up some of these side quests. Alright, back again in Neon. It's dangerous, Let's uh, have a chat with the good doctor. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. What can Reliant Medical do for you? 
Uh, I got the medical supplies for you. I tried to convince Abby to throw in a few more supplies, but no dice. I see. Well, I appreciate the effort, but there was no need for that. I hope it hasn't made things awkward between the two of you. Thanks for your help. You really came through for me. These supplies will be put to good use. Here, take this. You've earned it. Okay. Can we just not accept payment from him, or...? You aren't looking well at all. Perhaps you'd better sit down. Uh... I guess I don't really if have any other help, options there. That's okay. Uh, I was hoping that we could do even more runs for him, just to keep his clinic going, you know, but... I guess it's just the one time. Right, so, um... What do we have tagged here? We have... Oh, visit my rented room. Alright, well... I've already visited the rented room. I guess maybe it'll disappear after a while since we can only stay there for a day, right? Um, okay. So, it's time to head back to Kelp Corp. And, uh... We'll actually see if we can complete the... Uh, the side quest that we had from Clover. And then, we'll do the dirty deed of uploading that malicious software... Uh, for Ryujin Industries. Hopefully we don't get discovered. Clover! Clover Mc welcome to Kelp Core. Uh, seriously, I, I really feel that there's something wrong with how people interact with you. Often, you know, they don't even look at you properly when you initiate a conversation. I know it's this is like old engine and stuff. That's probably the reason why, but, uh, I don't know. I feel like it could have been handled much, much better at this point. Seems a little bit lazy. Uh, Saburo agreed to let you pay his debts. That's fantastic. I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully Father will forgive the late fees. And if he doesn't... I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And here, for your efforts. Sweet. Nice bit of creds there. Not too much, but still. Righto, so, uh, let's do this. I'm a little bit worried about it. Apparently, we should be able to just quickly... Alright, we are hidden, so I assume we shouldn't get caught by doing this. Alright, let's upload the program. Okay, that's done. No one saw a thing. Right. Doesn't exactly feel very good, Can't but... Talk. I've got a deadline coming up. Just keeping my eyes peeled what? for... things that might be of interest, but... I don't really think that there are any slates or anything like that that I can read. I guess the only important slate uh, that was worth reading was the one... Uh, that we've already picked up. Okay. Now, before we head back to Ryujin Industries, I want to see if I can find a bar uh, that should give us the ability to pick up a couple more uh, missions here and there. So, uh, where are the bars in this place? 
wondering where that smell is. I guess I guess we could go to the Astral Lounge actually. People joke, say those There should be bar uh sorry, there should be boards there, right? I think. Oh actually no, this is Ryujin Industries. My bad, my bad. Uh let's go to Ebside. And I'm gonna see if we can just go to Madame Sauvage's uh, I believe if we use this exit, we should be in front of Madame Sauvage's immediately. Now, something that I've been umming and ahhing about is whether or not- Oh, okay. So lighting is a little bit weird there. I uh, was thinking about whether or not I want to buy some more velocity from Madame Sauvage's, but uh, maybe not. Bounty clearance. We have any bounties? Okay, no bounties. Right. So, uh, supply gold to Voli Alpha. Um, I'm not really interested in the supply stuff because we haven't even been able to supply the aluminium to Hope Tech just yet. Uh, ecliptic agent on Voli Chi. Yeah, let's do that. And this is a pirate reaver. I'm concerned about picking up the pirate stuff. Um, because we could pick up bounties, so let's maybe leave those alone. But yeah, let's uh, go back and let's actually see what's next in terms of our region. Uh, a Ryujin uh, side quests. I mean, my guess is that they're probably just going to want us to continue just doing some dirty work against some other corporations in the area. Which, as long as there is a way for us to do it without getting caught, you know, we can definitely do them. This report isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogen's a stickler for details. Don't wander into any of. restricted areas. Just I hate being stuck in the office. I know what you mean, but that's your missing piece right there. Imogen. All right. I'll well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? You don't already know? A fair question. We may have plenty of eyes and ears out there, but I'm still going to need an answer. Well, it went well. No incidents to report. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Cool. Well, uh, I guess when we're working with Ryujin, the less... Uh, or the more inconspicuous we are, uh, the better, right? So if we can sort of do things with stealth and not get caught red-handed doing anything, the payment will be a lot bigger, I guess. I get it. Clean work equals maximum payout. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. Framing? I don't recall arts and crafts being in my job description. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here, just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. What are the do's and don'ts of this assignment? We want a clean and careful job. Obviously, we don't want any bad press at this point, or we could lose the deal. I don't want to hear any news about bounties or bodies coming out of Aquila City. Where do I need to leave this evidence? The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Filing cabinets, desks... I trust you can be smart about it. I'll make sure it gets done. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Hmm, okay, interesting. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I feel super comfortable about you know, betraying Laredo. Though, I guess we haven't really worked with Laredo on anything at all, right? So, uh, I'm surprised that we haven't really picked up any other quests with, uh, with Ryujin. I'd hate to be on Miss Can we speak time. to anyone that might give us some quest lines? Imogene told me she hired another operative. Welcome to the team. I'm April. What's it like having Imogen as a boss? It's great, as far as I'm concerned. I have a lot of respect for Imogene. She's not afraid to take what she wants. <laughs> and hates paperwork as much as I do. But what I like the most? She trusts us to get things done. None of that micromanaging crap. So, what does an operative do? I can't speak for what every operative does. Uh, people tend to keep their cards close to the chest in operations. But me personally, I'm a field agent. I specialize in gathering intel that our techs can't get. Especially blackmail material on high-profile clients and execs. Most assignments take me to the Astral Lounge or Paradiso. It's an incredible job. Great perks, too. I spend most of my time undercover living in luxury. Nice. Good luck with your future assignments. Paradiso. Okay, I haven't really been there before. I feel like that's the second time we've heard of it, though. Can I help you? Um. Rafik. I think we had a quest line for Rafik, didn't we? Make it quick. I have a deadline. Um, I think he wanted us to Goodbye. to do something in Abside, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember if we've done that, but anyway. A gala at the new Atlantis Free Star Embassy. That'd be a good way to gather info. I've got my eye on you. Okay, sure. Yes, what? This intel could blow a whole operation out of the water. Just gonna have a chat with various folks, see if we can pick up anything interesting. Nice to catch you in the office. Hey there, good to see you again. You really think Ryujin Industries is a great company? I wouldn't be here if I didn't, but that's a bit of a loaded question. When it comes to benefiting the lives of employees and customers, Ryujin's as good as it gets. It's the uh, corporate games that I could do with that. Yeah. I kind of agree with that. Uh, definitely has uh, some less than ideal methods of getting ahead. Uh, what is it you do here again? Oh, actually, what type of corporate games are you talking about? My parents raised me to believe in hard, honest work. Ryujin has more than its fair share of hard workers. It's the uh, honesty that's questionable. I probably shouldn't get into the details. 
It's a sensitive topic, and I'd hate to muddy the waters since he just started. Look, mate, you can trust me. Oh, is that so? What's the harm if you tell me? I mean, it might be okay. Alright, fine. You'll learn all about this sooner or later, so why not now? Ryujin Industries has some deeply embedded ties to Administrator Bayu, so he has a somewhat profound influence in the corporation. One word from Bayu could get you hired or fired. I'm probably not even aware of the amount of favors owed between both parties. But his influence is far from honest. If I had it my way, hard work is what would get you ahead here. Not the word of someone who's morally bankrupt. Okay. What is it you do here again? Supply chain manager. I basically keep all our different departments supplied with anything they need to get their jobs done. R&D requests are my favorite since they can be the most challenging, not to mention the most interesting. But almost everything you see in Ryujin Tower went through me at some point. How does your role fit into operations department? Well, technically, everyone in operations is dedicated to supplying the other departments with whatever they need. You operatives, field agents, and technicians alike supply information or get results that our executives use every day to make things happen. I'm just on the more legit side of things. More the boring side, as some might call it. Hmm. But it's honest work, though. Come by whenever. I'm always happy to chat. Ooh, okay, he's got a nice hidden safe there. Um, I wonder if we could actually get an office space of our own if we cause any climb trouble. the ladder, you know? Uh... Wonder if there are any other rooms that we could visit? Hey there. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. I got the memo from Imogene to add you to the system. So it sounds like congratulations are in order. You must have really nailed that interview. My first task was getting coffee. Not exactly a dream job. We all start somewhere. Be thankful it's not a personal errand. My first day? Camden had me arrange an entire anniversary party for him and his partner. It was nothing short of incredible, of course. But talk about pressure. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to the dysfunctional family. Okay. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Yeah, I guess R Ryujin Industries is not so bad in terms of questline, though. It is kind of interesting. Uh, all right. Have we have we explored every place we can explore on the operations floor? And should I be going to any of the other floors? Ooh. Got backdoor entrances to places. Oh, actually, hang on. Can't seem to access the vents. Maybe not yet. Maybe at some point we might need to access the vents as part of a mission or something. Imogen and what about through here? Anyone interesting? Imogen and Yuko run a tight ship around here. Hey, it's the newbie. Just a few office cubicles. I've got my eye on you. Don't wander into any restricted areas. These security guys, they're really, really hostile, aren't they? <laughs> they don't like you sort of hovering around them. They're definitely quick to remind you that, uh, that they're not to be messed with, I suppose. Oh, interesting. Okay, this takes us to a completely new level. There are a lot of cool models on display inside. Hello there. Uh, thanks for visiting the drone offices at Ryujin Tower. Can I help you find something? Oh, <clears throat> by the way, I'm uh, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> Robert. Sorry, I should have introduced myself when you walked up. I I'm still adjusting to this whole office manager thing. 
New job? Uh, yeah. <laughs> First week. No harm done. Thanks for saying that. I'm new at this. I'm still getting my feet under me. Anyway, take a look around the office if you want. It's open to the public. Everybody's pretty busy, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't disturb them too much. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, thank you for visiting Ryujin Tower. Enjoy your day. Does Groan stand for something? I uh, hate to say it, but your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> the rumor is the caps are just a marketing tactic. Catch attention, get people talking. <laughs> guess it works. So I guess you guys make drones? Robots. Mainly industrial models for helping out on ships and at spaceports. Maybe you've seen our most popular line, the minibots? We have models on display throughout the office. Feel free to have a look. So you're still adjusting to this job, huh? Yeah, I'll say. This wasn't even the job they hired me for. I was supposed to be working at Tranquility across the hall as an administrative assistant. Uh, it's just my luck that after I'd been in training for a measly two weeks, the office admin for drone had to go and retire. It was totally unexpected. Apparently, he went up to the executive floor one day and never came back to his desk. We were told he quit and just walked out. Hmm, fishy. You don't think something happened to him, did you? Uh, yeah, I do. I think he retired out of the blue after 10 years and left me to clean up his mess. That jerk didn't even write down his computer's password. IT was down here for hours the other day trying to give me access. You'd think something like that should only take a few minutes. And you're not happy with the transfer? No, not really. I mean, have you been to the Tranquility office? The whole place smells like a warm cup of tea and the staff is beyond friendly. Everybody at Drone is so serious, you barely even get a good morning out of most of the employees here. Oh, well, I think you'll get the hang of it. Oh, really? Thanks for the vote of confidence. I needed it. Have a nice day. All right, cool. Well, uh, let's get out of here, shall we? I guess there's a trouble. lot more people here that we could possibly out. talk to. Maybe it might not be a bad idea for us to just hang around Ryujin Tower a little bit more and see if we can eke out any other side quests. Hello, my name's Christine. I'm the office manager here. What brings you in today? Why is the office open to the public? Tranquility is a fairly new addition to the Ryujin family, so marketing really wanted to push our public availability. Being able to discuss our blends and processes face to face with our customers has really improved our brand awareness. Okay, well I'm just looking around. Well, you're in the right place. Our office is 100% open to the public. If you'd like to learn more about how our teas are made, you should speak with our blend master. Her name's Nancy. You'll find her in our office just behind you. And thanks for stopping by. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your visit more comfortable. Is this Tranquility's main office? Oh no, we're just a satellite office here at Ryujin Tower. Since we're a young addition to the corporate family, marketing and finance both thought it'd be beneficial to have a physical presence. So far, it's been really useful for our rapidly growing business. Could you give me some history on Tranquility? I don't know too much about the history, only that the founding CEO, Dakota Seri, still holds their position today. I heard one of Ryujin's board of directors stumbled upon the original shop while on vacation and was instantly in love. Next thing they knew, Seri's small family business was part of a multi-billion credit corporation. Do you like working for Ryujin Tower or in Ryujin Tower? I do, yes. Living in Neon is a dream come true for me, and this job is the icing on the cake. Tranquility takes excellent care of its employees. You're not from Neon originally? No, I'm not. I grew up in Aquila City. 
I always wanted to live near the ocean, so Voli Alpha seemed like the perfect place to move when I was old enough. Of course, back then I didn't realize the whole planet was ocean with zero sunshine. But there's just something about Neon, you know? This city flourishes against the odds, and that's what I love about it now. Well, I'm still adjusting to the job myself. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, dear. You'll learn. The office manager at Drone started two weeks ago, and he's getting the hang of it already. I'm sure he'd be happy to know he isn't the only one still learning. It was a pleasure talking with you. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Well, I think we're going to call it an episode here, guys. When we come back, I'll probably look around a little bit more uh, in Ryujin Tower. But uh, from there, we'll try to maybe move on to a few other things going on. Um, maybe we should be going back to Madame Sauvage's and uh, seeing if we can make contact with... Uh, I forget who it is that we need to speak to here. Um, oh, I guess we need to go to the UC Vigilance first before we can actually proceed with... Uh, uh, speaking to our contact from the Crimson Fleet, so we might actually follow on with the pirate storyline. Uh, I'm just looking at whether or not there's other things that we can uh, do here. So with liquid assets, I was hoping that uh, we might have the option to persuade someone else to, you know, put in some money. Uh, because the only thing available to us is an optional uh, offer to invest. Uh, and I assume that there could be other people that might uh, be suited for investing. Which is why I'm sort of holding on to that. Uh, then there's the addition here. Meet with the Ebside Strikers. That's a gang, right? So I'm not entirely sure if I really want to work for a gang. Rydock Blues. Yeah, we could try and deliver this 2000 aluminium um, for Hope Tech. I don't even know if I have 2000 aluminium, but I assume I can just deliver bits and pieces, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe we could pick up a couple more powers or something like that as well in the next episode. But anyway, guys, uh, I am signing out here. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. A lot of talking, a lot of toing and froing here and there, but we've uh, resolved quite a few side quests here on Neon, and I'm pretty happy about that. As I usual, guys, leave a like, and I hope you guys look forward to the next one. Stay true. Bye-bye.